Hi folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Fracture the Flag, a game that you can find on Steam for about 5 bucks. It's important to note that I just got my press copy today, so this is going to be a first impressions video, and I'll be learning as I play the game today. So, based on what I read, this is primarily a multiplayer game, but there are some single player modes available, and that's what we're going to be checking out today, because I'm not really confident that... I can play with other people when I don't know how to play the game yet. Hopefully there's some type of tutorial in the single player mode that will allow me to learn how to play. Options menu, you've got graphic settings like at least it runs fast, good enough, looks awesome. Leave it on the default. There's display, brightness, audio. I'm going to put the sound off for the sake of the commentary, at least the music off. For the sake of the commentary and to prevent copyright issues, sound effects and UI volumes here. Camera controls, other game settings, key bindings. Feel free to pause the video here if you want to read anything in more detail. But I'm going to go ahead and close this out now. And let's go ahead and uh, give single player a go. Though I guess we can look at multiplayer real quick just to show you what it looks like. Um, you can choose a random map. Islands in the sky for four players. There is this desert map for two players, uh, the lakes, which I guess is two players as well. The text sort of cuts off here. There is also a private mode here in case you want to toggle that. And then player stats, which is in beta. I think this whole UI here could be streamlined to look a little bit nicer than what it does, but that's just my opinion. All right, single player. Let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, resource, lumber, stone, minerals, build points, that and more. I'm guessing these are tutorials. And then you've got combat. Skirmish, two islands, around the lake, islands in the sky, and desert oasis. Alright, let's click lumber. Build a warehouse and a lumber mill. Collect wood and produce 100 lumber. How fast can you do it? Alright, let's try that. Build a warehouse and a lumber mill. Collect wood and produce 100 lumber. Okay. So, how exactly do we build? Start with a warehouse, and I would love to. Alright, let's look around the interface. Uh, lumber, top, <coughs> top right hand corner here. Minerals is this star. Stone next to that, and then build points 500. Then you've got a build menu here underneath the mini map. Upgrade menu next to that. Worker menu, weapons menu, and then game options. Right, let's go to the build menu. All right, so what, we need a warehouse and a lumber mill. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do the lumber mill, I suppose. I don't know where to put it. I'm guessing nearby this. And then a warehouse. Okay. Add a worker to collect resources. All right, so I clicked on the worker menu. Um, trees. Building can only be placed near flags. Okay, now do I do lumber mill and there's quarries, bomb depots, ammo depots, siege weapons, watchtowers. So it looks like I can request a certain number. So I guess I want to like max out this if I can so they can cut down a bunch of trees. And then I also want to max out the lumber mill, right? Now what's going to happen from here? All right, mouse wheel goes up and down, doesn't zoom in and out. Holding in the mouse wheel and swiveling left and right. We'll do that. Now there's this worker here. Should I be putting it? Okay, so I wonder if... Okay, so I have to manually put the workers down. I see. So the worker menu, I guess, tells them what to do. It doesn't actually spawn them. So maybe I might want to tune this down so that... People. Okay, well, it looks like they're splitting themselves off, actually. Two out of 30 are in the trees, and two out of three are in the lumber. So I, can I just, how do I, can I shift click to make a bunch at once? No? Control click? Control click. Okay, so control click allows me to build a bunch at once. The, I think I just ran out. I don't, I can't build anymore. I think I, I require, uh, cost is 50 something build points. Okay. So my build points are going up slowly, automatically. I could build stone walls, campfires, give unemployed workers a place to gather. Flag. Each flag has an area of control. Flags in buildings can only be built within a flag. Okay, so can I put... 
How much does that cost? That costs 10, 20, and 20. So 10 lumber, 20 stone, and 20 build points. Okay, so I'm guessing collect resources, use your flags to expand your influence. Okay, I'm guessing. Again, this is my first time playing. All right, lumber is 12 out of 100. Let's go ahead and, I guess, get more workers. I want to max out, um, I'd like to max out the lumber mills. How do I assign people away from trees into the lumber mills here? Maybe if I did put this down to 11. There we go. Now we've got three out of three lumber. Okay. So we've got 11 people doing the trees and a max of three people doing the lumber mill. And there's a timer ticking down there and a little challenge. Press shift O to assign a unit. Again, it's sort of underneath this worker menu, so I can't see what it's asking. Press shift O. Okay, I'm hitting shift O. Oh, shift zero, maybe? Okay, no, none of that's working either. Okay, yes, I'm not sure what this tool tip. Shift zero, shift. Yeah, okay, that apparently isn't working. But I can click this up here. The worker menu is C. All right, I can bring that up. Weapons menu. Build a warehouse. and Okay, I guess I can't do that. I tried clicking the weapons menu and that came up instead. Alright. Um, a mine costs 15 lumber, 10 stone, and 10... Okay, so how do we get more stone? I mean, if, I guess we don't start with... Well, no, we started with some. But I think we used it up. Maybe the warehouse is what... Yeah, this, the warehouse costs 15. So that prevented us from using that stone for a mine. So I guess the first thing you should do is get your lumber mill and your mine going first. So that you can get your resources going and then build your warehouse, I'm guessing. Alright, let's get more workers down. All right, control click. All right, now let's get worker men. Let's go ahead and increase this. All right, now can we speed up time at all? Lumber is low. Okay, well, looks like trees regrow over time. 45 out of 100 lumber. Knock over players' flags to destroy them. Okay. Press shift one to assign a unit. Again, looking for, okay, how to play. I'm clicking on that and nothing's happening. Settings, okay, that's coming up. Rotate is Q and E, deliver bomb is B, build menu Z, tech tree X. There's a tech tree? Okay. Sending messages is return. Okay. Yeah, some some things aren't working. How to play, for example, like none of that none of that seems to be working. That's weird. Guess we'll go back. Oh, well, let's check the upgrade menu. Okay. So barracks, watchtower, faster workers. Um, how do we? Okay, so we have to spend build points in order to upgrade. So I can either spend them on more workers, or I can spend them on upgrades. There's faster workers, mine workers plus one, quarry workers plus one, lumber mill, which I already have. It's an upgrade. Well, I have a lumber mill, but not the upgrade. Lumber mills produce more quickly. So, how do I know how much... Would I have? Okay, no, 83. I got plenty of lumber. So, all right, so how do I know how much wood I have then? Like, I'm, I'm obviously turning, okay, wood, 161. I've got 161 wood, which is being turned into lumber. Oh, if, we, if I click on this building, I can request workers here as well. 
That's good to know. Minerals are low. Yes, I'm aware. Not that we need it right now. It's an interesting little game. I mean, it's, I, mean I can... Okay, I can quit job. I can draw selection boxes. So it's sort of like an RTS, I guess. But a little different than what I'm used to. Alright, we've almost got enough lumber. We've got 150. Let's go ahead and uh, upgrade our... Um, that's not what I want to do. Upgrade the lumber mill to produce lumber more quickly. There's somewhat of a delay here. On the bottom left, it says lumber 91 out of 100, but on the very top, it says 101 lumber. So, why are the two numbers different? That's weird. I'm trying to figure out why this says 99 out of 100, yet this says 109 on the very top. Like, shouldn't they be the same? All right, best time. All right, so let's go back to the menu. Single player. There's stone, minerals, build points. All right, let's do a skirmish. I have a feeling I'm going to get my butt kicked here, but I just want to quickly see, uh, you know, how this might play out. The AI has a small base that will launch bomb-based attacks, but has no ability to send swordsmen. A great level to learn the basics of FTF combat without getting crushed by continuous attacks. Add a watchtower for basic defense. Alright, well. Uh, let's put it on easy. Start with a... Okay, so we're going to start with a... Well, I don't want to... The warehouse is going to use up all my stone. Don't I need a mine? Wouldn't it help if I had a mine first and then the warehouse? Alright, lumber mill. Guess we'll find out. Let's put a worker down. We need them to work at um, these jobs here. So we'll do uh, trees, lumber mill, and mine. I don't have enough workers there. All right, or quarries maybe? No. So what did I just build? This is a mine, yes? How come I can't assign anyone to it? It says zero out of zero. Is it because I don't have the warehouse maybe? So maybe I am supposed to start. All right, let's let's redo this. Is can we All right, leave game? Let's 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 follow instructions this time. We'll start with what it's telling us to start with. Easy. Start with a warehouse and lumber mill. All right, I will do that. Here's the warehouse. Here's the lumber mill. But I can't build the mine now in order to collect stone, unless I don't need that to collect stone. All right, well, let's get some workers down. All right, and um, so now we have to assign these jobs, right? So trees, lumber mill. What about, okay, can't do any, yeah, can't do that yet. All right, so now we're making lumber again. So this is what we did in the first. But how now do we make, how do we get stone without, we need 15 lumber but also 10 stone and 10. So how then do we get, how do we get stone? Unless this build point has it for us, I don't know. I might have to do that other tutorial even though I said I'd bypass it. Maybe the unlock menu might have something here. Mines can employ more than one worker. Uh, one more worker. Faster workers. Um, more BP. Flags generate more build points. That'd be good. I could also do this watch. I, we do have to construct a watchtower, but again, without stone, I don't know how we're supposed to get stone. All right. 
Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, we don't have enough resources to get this stone. I'm, I'm looking for a way to do it. I can't seem to figure out how to get stone. All right, let's do this then. Leave game, single player. Let's go to stone. Bear to warehouse and collect 100 stone under five minutes. All right. All right, but yeah, now I've got... All right, so if I build a warehouse and a lumber mill. Okay. I did that. So how do we get... How do we get mines then? All right, let's do trees. We'll do three. Okay. Do more of these. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. My favorite color is green. All right, so now how do you build the mine? If the mine requires stone and I'm out of stone, how do we get it? How do we build this mine? Assign a worker to a lumber mill to pro I did that. I'm processing the wood right now. Quarries are at fixed locations around the map. Yeah, I figured that. Maybe I don't need... Ah, okay. So you don't have to build a mine. Okay, so mines are for minerals, not for stone. I see. I didn't read the description enough. Mines can be assigned workers who collect minerals okay now i understand i understand now okay that makes sense all right let's now let's go back leave game skirmish sorry folks again learning as i go here this time we should have everything that we need let's hope all right so again warehouse first lumber mill boom some workers Okay, and we need to assign them jobs, some trees, uh, we want that, uh, let's do seven out of seven, we need to save room for, all right, so where are the mines at? Uh, over here, okay, so we have to click on the quarry here and then click on this plus to assign max of five, so let's go ahead and get, there we go, now we're collecting stone. We're out of build points, though. I think we have too many trees, though. I mean, I... Yeah, we've got 21 wood, only 3 lumber. So I think we're collecting more than we need. So I'm going to tone that down. Assign That way, more gets assigned to the quarry. So, there we go. 5 out of 5. Because we do need stone. Okay, so far so good. Lumber is low. I figured I'm trying my best here. Wood is 20. So we have we have wood. It's not a problem. All right, now I could use more build points to create more workers, or I could upgrade, you know, say, the faster workers. That way they run faster. I will need a watchtower at some point now. I'm looking over here. Ah, so there's the enemy. Hold control to repeat. Okay, I figured that out. Yeah, so what's more efficient? Upgrading faster workers or building more of them? I mean, at some point, I'm, I'm, I mean, I maxed out. Yeah, I think faster workers might be the better way to go here. Um, all right, let's do upgrade menu, and then we'll do faster workers. There we go. And then the next upgrade will be the watchtower. 
as that was one of the tips that we had. Eventually a barracks would be nice so that we can build swordsmen and then upgrade their armor and weapons and then attack, hopefully. I'm assuming, I've never did the flag, I didn't do the flag tutorial, but I'm assuming I can build flags outside of my own territory to control more stuff. Like I could put it, yeah, I could put it out here. Interesting. All right, but I'm not going to do that yet. Stone is low. All right, well, that's why we've got more people. All right, upgrade menu. Watchtower needs 125 build points. Stronger workers. Workers walk faster when carrying a load. That would also be a nice one to have. But again, when is the enemy going to be attacking me? You know, like, I'm afraid to spend all of my build points on economy and then, you know, get demolished because I didn't have any defense. Not sure what they're doing over here. To deliver a bomb, press B, then right click. Well, I don't I don't have bombs yet. So I don't have to worry about that. Well, I suppose I can try this mine out. Um, question is, where do I put it? Uh, oh, over here. Okay. There's that. And then we want to assign some workers to it, I'm assuming. Max of five. Just so we can start getting some minerals. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is this what I think it is? How do we how do we stop this guy from doing what he's doing? Can we attack him? He's delivering No! Bad bomb! <laughs> Blow out the bomb! Don't stand near it! Does anyone notice that there's a bomb? Oh, hell. So much for that. All right, so lumber mill. We need a new lumber mill. All right, new lumber mill. Note to self, watchtower ASAP. All right, let's get, let's get people working back on the lumber mill again. All right, so we need to save up these build points. No more workers for a while. Bomb dropping balloons can be researched. That's good to know. Well, at least we're getting supplies, you know, but we need build points. Here comes another one. Damn you, I don't have enough build points to, to fend this off either. Fire selected weapon by right clicking on... T I don't have a selected weapon, unfortunately. What's he doing? He's going to blow up my mind now. Minerals are low. That's alright. Yeah, blow that up. I don't really care about that right now. I don't need to replace that yet oh, it's not it's not blown up it's on fire all right well anyway un upgrade menu again we want this watchtower i've got 121 build points we need 125 does this pause the game because nothing's happening oh no it's not paused these guys are still walking there we go watchtower all right so now we need 20 10, 30, all right, we need 50 build points. And here comes another guy with a bomb. So now we've got to wait a little bit longer to get to, man, I feel bad for my, my people. These are my little guinea pigs. These poor saps are getting blown to hell for the sake of uh, research and learning, trial and error. Come on, build points. Work work for me here. I've got 36 now. There goes my lumber mill. I think that's... I th yeah, he's targeting this. I think this little compass... I think that's a targeting symbol. 
Come on, I'm almost there. I think... He's going to blow that up. Of course he is. Now I've got the watchtower. Okay, well, we're going to put that watchtower right out here. And we're going to have to replace our lumber mill as soon as possible. Once we have the build points for it. Alright, so now can we... Will this thing shoot or what? There's a little target symbol here, but what does that mean? Request workers. Oh, so people have to actually go into this building and use it. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, get in there. Man that thing. Here comes another one. Now, ah, there we go. Yes, yes, that's what I'm talking about. How do you like it? How do you, how do you like it? Darn tootin'. Okay. Well, I'm safe for a while. Let's get our lumber mill back up and running. And we need to assign some people to that. We're going to need more workers, though. Let's assign less people to the quarry so that we can assign some people to the lumber. I don't want to take any away from my watchtower. I want to keep four in there. All right, we're good. So now we need, uh, now we need like more build points more quickly. So is that what the flag does? Each flag has an area of control. Flags and buildings can only be built within an, okay. So how do we gain more build points more quickly? Is that via the research menu, the upgrade menu? I saw something before, more BP, flags generate more build points. So should I build another flag? And would that generate more BP for me? Let's try it. We could put it say over here, not close enough to a flag. So it has to be within a certain area maybe. So like, like that. Okay. Oh, what happened here? There's a whole bunch of workers. I wonder if they're getting trees. Lumber is low. So how do we now control? Like, what's the deal with this? Like, I have my flag here. Build points are low. All right, well, this extended. I see the purple here. What if I put another flag over here? Now, does each flag generate its own build points? It looks like it. I got a ton of build points just now per tick. All right, upgrade menu, uh, more BP, it's 155. 107, yeah. Each one, I think, is generating its own BP. So the more flags I have down, the faster I gain BP. So I guess it would behoove me not only to worry about lumber and everything else, but also to um, get some get some flags down to get as much BP as possible. All right, let's go ahead and do this more BP upgrade so that we can generate more and more quickly. Looks like my watchtower is still doing its thing. Shooting at the workers trying to get these trees over here. Oh, here comes someone with a bomb. Shoot, shoot him, please. There you go. And you're dead. Ugh. All right, so now our lumber is low still. We've only got three people working in lumber. Okay, let's do, we need more workers. There we go. And so we've got three people working in the lumber mill. How much wood do we have? We have... It's hard to see. Wood zero. Really? I guess we need more people working in the trees then. All right, so more more workers then. That'll take up a lot of our build points, but that's okay. 
we've got a lot of minerals, so I'm not too worried about that. Maybe I'll cut this down to one, and then that'll add another one to trees, so we can get more wood. All right, we're up to 44 build points. All right, upgrade menu. Um, I want to start offensive, you know, maybe swordsman. I need 195 BP for that. There's also a plague trap, a fire trap, a bomb depot, and a bomb balloon. I I do want to see. I mean, I already seen their how the bombs work. I mean, you you hire them and then they run towards your base and you blow their stuff up. That that is all fine and good. I, but I want to see the military aspects too, by building um you know a barracks. I still need more build points. It's gonna be it's gonna be a while. No way to fast forward from the looks of it. All right, how are we doing here? Wood is eleven. Okay, so we're we're slowly but surely getting wood now. All right, we're at one ninety one. Why is that menu still open? I don't want that menu open. There's a lumber mill window open. I'm trying to get rid of it. There we go. All right, barracks. Next upgrade is swordsmen, 245 build points. All right, well, let's go ahead and get the barracks started at least. We can get that going. All right, I guess we'll put that down here. And unfortunately, I can't construct any units right now because, well, just don't have the resources for it yet. But I think I see where the game is going with this, and it's pretty interesting. So based on what I'm seeing here, again, resources, build points, area control, and it's not a bad game for five bucks, I gotta say. I mean, yeah, the nuances take a little getting used to, but once you get used to the build order and what you're supposed to do, um, it's not so bad. And I can see multiplayer games, you know, turning out to be a lot of fun. I'm just not the type of person to play multiplayer games. I, I like to play single player myself. But I'm glad that there's like a skirmish mode to where players can actually practice and uh, learn how to play the game at their own pace like this. I mean, granted, I think this bomber here came a little bit too soon for my liking, but in fairness, the game did warn me to build a guard tower to defend myself, so I did. And I did skip three of the tutorial missions, <laughs> so there's that too. All right, let's go ahead and unlock something else. Swordsman, well, we can't. Five more build points. There we go, we got it. Okay, so how do we do that? Is that... Click on barracks, or all right. So how do we siege weapons, ammo depot, bomb depot, construction yards? How do we get worker menu? No. Weapons menu. That's not a weapons menu. That's that's that opens up something else. Where's the barracks? But I I I don't see a way to actually construct the swordsman I just unlocked. Maybe I'm missing something. I mean, there's a little thing down here. Set that to high priority, maybe. Or maybe we need more, maybe another worker to turn into one. I just plop down a worker, see if that does anything. All right, now he's just sitting there. I clicked on the sword button. He seems to be running now. What's he doing? So maybe that calls a free worker. And, okay, now he has a sword. Now, how do I tell him what to do? 
I just select them. I can tell him to patrol, retreat. Okay. So let's get him in here. I want to see what, what he's capable of by himself. Oh, he's got catapults. That's lovely. He missed. He missed. Are, are we going to attack him? What are you doing? Patrol? Now... I have to set two or more waypoints. Okay, that's fine. So maybe he's just... So he does it. Does he attack people or just buildings? Alright, well, let's throw another worker down. I have a feeling we're going to need it. And another one, and then we'll click this twice. There we go. And now they should have it as well. Swordsman, swordsman. All right, let's move them up. See, I can't tell. Okay, it looks like he destroyed the catapult. But is he attacking this person? What is he doing? Oh, no, he's dead. Okay, so he was attacking the person, even though the animation looked kind of funny. Considering he has no swordsman, I don't think he's going to be protected at all. And what's he shooting at? He's not shooting at me, is he? Now, now I've got three swordsmen in here wreaking havoc. Alright, so are you going to do anything, or what? Or are you just going to stand there? Okay, so when patrol is on, he doesn't do anything. But when patrol is off... He'll go about his own business doing whatever. I guess whatever he's programmed to do. But if patrol is toggled on, you actually have to set the, the waypoints. Otherwise, he won't do anything. That's good to know. Alright, so I guess while I'm waiting, let's upgrade this... Um, let's do this bomb depot thing. And we'll try that out too. Bomb depot. We need a worker for that, I'm assuming. Click on that button. There he goes. Alright, so I guess I'm going to move him up. Yeah, I'll attack that lumber mill. See so you like that. Let's see if he's running. Is he running? What are you doing? Why are you standing there? What is that bomb pot? What are you do? What are you supposed to be doing? I'm trying to get you to move and you're not moving. I want you to quit job. I want you to go bomb something. Didn't I have to hit a button or something? Was it? I mean, is there? How to no settings? There we go. Deliver bomb B. Okay, B. There we go. Is it right click, left click? Let's find out. Let's see what he does. All right, B. Left click. And let's see if he moves. No. Bomb. Right click. He's not moving either. Alright, so how do we get the... I mean, yeah, I got B here. Or B again? Oh, what happened? I think that guy just blew up all of my bomber... Or all of my swordsmen. All right, I'm going to need more, uh, all right, let's get more workers. All right, we need, yeah, we need put more of these down. There we go. Alright, so we've got more swordsmen. Let's get them back over here. 
All right, now how do we get these bombers to do what they're told? B, to set bomb. See if there's another button I'm missing. Settings. Deliver bomb is B. You'd think, I mean, yeah, you'd think it'd be something simple, but... Because I can right-click and move them. How come I can't right-click? No, what are you doing? Do you not have a bomb? What are you... Okay. I want someone to have a bomb. Get a... Get a bomb. Does no one want a bomb? You're not doing anything. You're a bomber, yes? Okay. B. B. How come B is not working? He's sitting there doing nothing. Alright, maybe I need another free worker. All right, let's get less people doing the trees. There, one person's working the bomb depot. Now will you, bomb maker. Maybe we didn't have any bombs. Maybe that's the problem. So we need a bomb maker. Bombs for minerals too. Okay, so now how do we get people just to deliver the bombs? Our swordsmen are still going to town over here, which is good. Close that. So we, we've got bombs, yes? Now do we have to recruit bombers? So we should have what we need to recruit the bombers. I just don't know how to do it. That might be another tutorial thing I'll have to look up. Um, a bomb balloon. I why not? There's also catapults, ballistas. That's cool. All right. Um, so are you working here or not? Bombs, five. Minerals, zero. I've got 813 minerals. What are you talking about? Bomber. Okay. Um... B? See, B is not working. Yeah, I'm, I'm right-clicking over here. That's not working. Like, I have the bomber selected. B is not working oh yeah I forgot about those bomb dropping things uh bomb depot I mean I've got one of those bomb depot process minerals into bombs assign workers to produce bombs recruit workers to deliver the I thought I did all that there's the balloon I've got like eight bombs here. Oh. Balloon. But how do I run? Okay, so this is working fine. But how do I how do I get people to run over there? Is blue dead? I think I have to See, I can, I can do this with the balloon. I can right-click and move them. Now, what are you doing? It says you're a bomber. But I cannot right-click this person at all to move him anywhere. Alright, so now that I'm over here... Is it going to drop the... Okay, so it's dropping the bombs automatically. Okay. Which is good. Now the question becomes, how do I get, like I've got all these guys here, and but they're not moving. 
like right click okay I hit B left click didn't work All right, let's build one of those those cuz there's too many people over there. Let's do this campfire. Unemployed people can head over there. Are all these people bombers? Yeah, they're all bombers, but they're looking for something to do, but I can't get them to bomb anything. Quit job. Okay. So he's a bomber. Yeah, it's just yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. For whatever reason, I can't get... I can't get these bomber. Okay, I selected that one. Now, again, right-click. That didn't work either. Yeah, I'm going to have to, like, play with the tutorial, I think, on this the whole bomb thing. Because I can't get these guys to run to save my life and, and go drop off these bombs. So, I guess let me, let me just get these guys to... Can we finish this finish this off? Finish these flags. Attack the flag. Or do we have to bomb them? I would think if we have to bomb them, because I have no idea how to do that besides using my balloon. Alright, so more balloons. Alright. Attack. Attack. And attack. All right, in the meantime, I suppose we can do another flag. We'll just put that here. Another flag. Oh, we don't have enough built. No, we've got enough build points. Not enough stone. So we're out of stone? Don't I have people doing that? I have one people working the quarry, no wonder. Let's go ahead and increase that number. I got 860, 800 and some build points, so I've got plenty to upgrade here. I mean, I could do the construction yard. I mean, I, I guess I could do like the catapult. I don't have enough build points yet. 595 for the next one. It seems like it's the more upgrades you have, the more expensive. It doesn't matter which one you pick. It's just the more upgrades you have, the more expensive the upgrades become. Is that's what I'm getting out of it. Okay. Yeah. So I think you guys get the idea. I don't think I'm going to finish this one out uh, just because, again, I don't know yet how to get these guys to do what they're supposed to do and actually bomb something. I'm, I've got I've got the B figured out, but telling them to go do it, they don't seem to be willing to run to go do it. So yeah, um, stay tuned for more videos from me. Uh, maybe when I get a better handle on this, I'll be able to explain more about what the game, you know, can do. Because as of right now, I'm still learning. But yeah, if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.